Hello, how's it going? I hope that you are doing well today. It's Friday. It's the beginning of the weekend. It's going to be a good weekend for all of us. You know, the Lord's got good plans for each one of us. We just need to follow him. I hope you're getting a chance to uh, do something that you want to do this weekend. Get a little break from work. You know, if you work on the weekends like me, don't worry. It's still going to be good anyway. There's joy in the Lord's presence no matter where we're at. I remember one time I was talking to someone in a different country, kind of a more poor a poor country, and, and uh, they were telling me, like, you know, what problems do you have there? How could you have any problems? And I was just like, please, you know, I've been, I've been to prison, you know, where we're stuck in a little concrete cell for days, you know, and I know what it's like to read, you know, and in there, you know, I was reading the word and I was writing letters to people and things in there, you know, and the Lord takes care of us. There's joy in his presence, uh, no matter where we are. It's a fruit of the spirit is joy and, and, and peace. So um, a lot of times, you know, more things can be more of a distraction that keep us away from the Lord. So um, I'm not saying don't don't hear what I'm not saying. Like I, we're very blessed here in the USA where I'm at. And, and uh, it is nice to have uh, you know, plenty of food to eat and, and things like that. So, but, but I'm just saying there's joy uh, with him. We got to be like Paul and learn to be content in all circumstances. Um, whether we've got a full stomach or an empty stomach, you know, whether we got good things or no things. I've been, been there. So, um, but yeah, I just want to get on here and pray, read a little bit of the word with you and just let the Lord speak to us. Lord, we just come to you right now. Our greatest joy is to hear from you, God. Have you speak to us to learn more about you. And uh, that's why we get together like this. You know, we this is this is how we do it. We talk to you and you talk back. It's, it's just like with people, you know. But you are so much greater than people, God. We don't get excited hearing from those people. We get excited hearing from you, Lord. So um, just speak to us as we read your word here. And, and uh, yeah, tell us what you want us to hear right now. Thank you, Lord. So yeah, yes, last night I was, I took this video. I like to do vi videos of nature or whatever. And, Put, a, put some music to it, put a Bible verse that kind of goes along with it. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But um, but I enjoy doing that. But last night I posted this, I was trying to post this video I had of this horse running up the hill here. And I was having problems with the, with the internet, I guess. It, it was only like a 48 second video and it usually would upload that pretty quick, but it, you know, it was taking forever. And then it said finishing up, but then it never, and then it just disappeared. And then I went to look on my page to see if it had posted, but it didn't, but it wasn't on there. So I, try, so I tried it again and I must have did this. Like I had to go back and get the video and then put the song on there again. I must have did that like five times. And then like finally I seen that one of them worked. And uh, so, but then later on I was looking on my page and like, I noticed like, there were people commenting. I was like, I was like, why is there comments like on two different things, two different notifications for the same post? And I seen that like that same post came through like two more times. And then like when I woke up in the morning, there was two more. But I was just thinking about like, I was thinking about like prayer, you know, um, how sometimes we ask for prayer, you know, and we want we want it to show up right then. We want the answer right now, but sometimes it doesn't come until later on, like at a, at a different time when the Lord wants to answer it, you know. And and I was just thinking, we need to talk to talk to Him more. We need to ask Him more questions and ask Him more things because the more we talk to Him, the more His answers are going to be popping up just at random times. These surprises and everything. And when we make our lives a life of of prayer, then good things are going to constantly be uh, going on in our lives. If that makes sense, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be open for you. For everyone who asks receives and the one who seeks finds. And to the one who knocks it will be open. 
Or which one of you, if his son asks him for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will give him a serpent? If you then, who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father who is in heaven give good things to those who ask him? So he's, he's answering our prayers, you know, he's answering them better than how we want them to be answered. He always exceeds what we're asking for. We just don't know because we're using our own human reasoning sometimes and, and uh, he's got way better plans. So we need to just, uh, um, just, just trust in him and have peace that he's working everything out for our good. That's Matthew 7, 7 through 11. And he told them a parable. This is one about persistent prayer. Um, and he told them a parable to the effect that they ought to always pray and not lose heart. He said, in a certain city, there was a judge who neither feared God nor respected man. And there was a widow in that city who kept coming to him and saying, give me justice against my adversary. For a while he refused, but afterwards he said to himself, though I neither fear God nor respect man, yet because this widow keeps bothering me, I will give her justice so that she will not beat me down by her continually coming. And the Lord said, hear what the unrighteous judge says. And will not God give justice to his elect who cry to him day and night? Will he delay long over them? I tell you, he will give justice to them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, he will, uh, will he find faith on earth? That's Luke 18, 1 through 8. So he wants us to be persistent. Um, yeah. And will not God give justice to his elect? That's his elect, the ones that are constantly crying out to him uh, day and night. That's what I'm talking about, this day and night prayer where we just continue to pray and ask him, tell him things, thank him, and make our whole lives a life of prayer. Um, <clears throat> a lot of say he wants, he wants to tell us about himself. You know, he wants to reveal information to us about himself but we need to ask him for that you know a lot of times now if i if i have a question about something like if i don't know anything about angels like i don't know nothing about angels i don't know nothing about spirit and soul and things like that that are very complex things i just ask him you know lord i want to know more about angels you know i want to know more about spiritual warfare we can be specific or we can be kind of kind of vague like that but he's gonna answer our question you know and he's gonna you know it's one it's one thing to say oh i need to learn more about angels you know when we just think that to ourselves you know it's another thing to look up to god and say god i really want to know more about your angels you know can you show me more about your angels lord and then you know you'll be surprised when you start asking them questions like that and then you go to your youtube you know, and it's got suggested videos and it's a, it's the, the top video is a video from, you know, Isaiah Saldivar on angels or something. And you'll just know that the Lord wants you to, he's going to tell you, you know, whatever it is that you want to, but he speaks to us and through, through videos or he'll lead us to the scripture in our Bibles or he'll line us up with in a conversation with somebody. There'll be a Facebook post, but we want to ask him the question first. Don't just tell yourself, you know, I need to learn more about it. Ask God to teach you about whatever it is that you want to do it. You know, if you want to speak in tongues, ask the Lord, hey, I want to speak in tongues, Lord. I really, and just and be persistent with, with your questions, with your seeking, and he's going to lead you around and, and uh, you know, he says, call to me and I will answer you and I will tell you great and hidden things that you have not known. Jeremiah 33, 3. So just ask him any of those questions about anything. God, I want to know more about spiritual warfare. I want to know about what, how do you know, how do you know, Lord, when it's a demon and, and, uh, and what to do about it, you know, and, and uh, he's, he's going to lead you to the answers he wants a relationship with us he wants to he wants to speak to us but it's not very often that he just said he does it through, through an audible voice i mean i don't you know i don't i don't hear from him like that he's gonna he's gonna speak to us through 
you know, as we're as we're looking for the answers. But we need to come to him first. Um James 4 2 says you desire and do not have so you murder you covet and cannot obtain so you fight and quarrel you do not have because you ask because you do not ask you have not because you ask not you know we look around at these people like why do they know so much you know why is the Lord using them chances are because they're talking to the Lord and they're asking them for these things you know they're 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 seeking the Lord with their whole heart. They have an objective to go out there and try to save the lost. You know, they want to glorify God. So God is revealing himself to them. They're, he's, they're asking him questions and, and he's, he's, or yeah, we're asking him questions and, and he's revealing those, those things to us. So instead of uh, saying, I need to, you know, I need to find out what that is. Ask the Lord what that is. Today, my 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 watch, my smart watch broke. So I was at Costco, and I was there was a lady, an Apple rep there, and uh, and you know I could sit there and stare at those watches and and wonder, you know, wonder what the difference is and the features and things. But why not just ask her, you know, what's the difference between this and that, you know? And then she could tell me right there instead of me, you know, having to go through. All the all these things, and that's what the Lord. That's what we do with the Lord. We don't we don't just wonder like, oh, I wonder about that. No, we ask Him. Does that make it sense? So uh, we need to ask, seek, and find, knock, and the door will be open. Call to me, and I will answer you, and I will tell you great and hidden things. He wants. Yeah, just stay in constant communication with Him. Every question that comes on your mind, ask Him. Ask him. It's kind of like, to me, it's kind of like being thankful, you know? Being thankful isn't just saying I'm thankful. It's actually saying thank you, God, you know? There's a difference. When we're thankful, we, 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 we say thanks often. So, Lord, we are thankful for you, and we do want to learn more about you, God, and we want to talk to you more. We want to ask you questions. We want to know more about you, and we know that you want to tell us more about you. So we're going to seek you more, God, because it's, like I said, it's our greatest joy for you to reveal hidden things to us, secrets of the kingdom, and just be, it's just, it's just so amazing, Lord. Just bless my friend right here in Jesus' name. We just want your will to be done, Lord. Your plan in our lives. Give us boldness, Lord. We all need boldness to go out there and share. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, take care.